Hey guys, it's your girl GAB for life, and today I am coming to you guys with a two part tutorial. Um, with the style that I have in my hair, it is super versatile, and I realized that um, I do not keep my protective styles in a lot. So I've come up with these two styles just to give me a little versatility and to keep my styles a little funky and fresh. <laughs> So, um, as you can see, I have um, two strand twists going down the middle of my hair, and on the sides, it's braided. So, to start this um, style, I am going to now pin down the front of my hair um, with a bobby pin, just to secure it from getting in the way and me making a mistake and pulling out the twist in the front, because I like my bangs. And I'm now going to do the same things to the side, just twist them around and pin them. So, um, now in the back of my hair, I am proceeding to um, pin up the back um, I would like to have done a more uh, two strand uh, flat twist going up but my hair is too short so I've come up with this basket weaving technique because um, being that my hair is short this helps to secure it so that I won't uh, lose any twist out of the pin up so now I'm just taking the hair and pulling it across each other and as I go up I take a pin and pin it down just to secure the hair. And I continue this technique all the way till I get to the top of my head. Just taking one side and pulling it over the next and continuing that pattern until I get to the crown of my head. Now, um, I'm at the top of my hair, and I'm now going to take um, the rest of the hair and split it in two different sections and cross them. So I'm going to take one section now and um, proceed to tuck in my ends, because that's the purpose of me pinning up my hair, to protect my ends. So I'm going to twist and tuck under and take some bobby pins or hair pins, whichever you choose, because I use them both, and um, pin them down. And I use as many as you need to because um, you want to make sure that the hair doesn't come down from out of the roll. And I do the same thing with the other side. Cross it over tuck in the ends and pin. So now that I've gotten the top of my hair secure, I am now going to take the side, on um, one side of my hair, which is the braids, and I'm going to take that hair, cross it over the back, make sure that my ends are tucked in really nicely, and pin. And I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side. Pull it across, tuck the ends in, and secure it with the hair pin. And now I'm just taking out my bangs, going to do a little fluff in action, and I'm good to go. Now, with this next style, it's a little um, bit easier. So, as you can see, I just took the middle of my hair. Because my hair is so short, I don't want it to stick up or stick out, so I took the middle rolled it around and now I'm going to proceed to pin it back to keep it in place using a bobby pin I mean a hair pin sorry
So now I'm using the same technique that I did in the other style. I'm going to take the size of my hair, pull it across, make sure my ends are tucked in, and proceed to pin. And I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side. Pull across, tuck in my ends, and pin. It's as simple as that. When the hair sometimes is a little shorter, like mine, the hair comes out. So if that happens, no big deal. Just take the hair and pull it back across, and you may have to use a few more pins just to make sure it's secure. So I can easily just leave the style like this because I like it, and I like my bangs, and I have a little hair in the back um, left out just because it's a little girly girly and cute but I think I'm going to try something different today that I don't really um, normally do and again it's just trying to give the style a little bit more sad so I'm going to try a little pompadour kind of a thing so I've never done this before but I think um, the way I have it pictured in my mind it may work so I'm going to just twist my ends of course make sure they're secure roll them under and secure the front with the hairpin. My little pompadour is a little wop so I kind of shape it with my hands, get it to its desired shape and then pin it. And there you go, two easy and simple styles. Thanks for watching.